RTG, welcome back to the grind. Holy man, it feels like I had a day off yesterday, but it was because I didn't play Ultimate Team. Well, we did. Okay, so hold on. Yesterday, you were supposed to get a you know live long recording. You're supposed to get a edited epi if we're talking about the YouTube side of things. But um, I ended up starting the stream really late because my son had a football game early morning. And Leeds absolutely destroyed my mental health in the early morning. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. to watch the Leeds game, to watch them just have 47 shots against Blackburn, to watch Pero and Bamford and everybody else just sit there all like lost puppy dogs with, with Blackburn having 40 players behind the ball. Once again, the low block, the only thing that screws Leeds up, all you got to do is put 10 players in and around the box and Leeds just pass... Literally from side to side, side to side, 47 pass attempts before Somerville cuts inside and tries and shoot. Or before we do 40 passes across goal 7,000 times, and then we play it back to Ampadu, and Ampadu launches the ball at Bamford, and Bamford has no idea what's going on to try and deal with it. So, after w spending two hours from 4.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m., and then watching us lose to uh, Blackburn's, what, two shots? They had two chances, and fair play to Sazamazadix, or whatever that guy's name is. That guy's a baller, dude. He had one chance and scored. Oh, imagine. Imagine Leeds having 40 chances and not scoring. <laughs> That's like me and Fud Champs against my opponent that plays five at the back. His stupid Gabriel Bonglahor, or whatever his name is, gets one shot, one goal. Anyways, that Sazamazadix, or whatever, that Blackburn guy, I, I, dude, I was looking into it. I'm like, how is he so clinical, man? He had one chance. And then you look at him, dude, Blackburn might be relegation trash, but that guy is cooking, man. What the hell? Anyways, you know what? We deserve to lose. I don't care. And the craziest part is uh, Ipswich dropped points and Leicester lost. Dude, the last two, three games, Leeds could have been like nine points ahead in first. I can't. I just can't. I can't be a Leeds fan. It's so exhausting. 20 years of this, man. 25 years of this, bro. Why have I gotten my son into this? What have I done to my poor son, man? Poor kid, dude. I've just brought him into a life of hell now, being a Leeds fan. Anyways. I'm fine. I'm, everything's going to be fine. It's all fine. Um, I, I so then decided to not go live yesterday and to just go watch my son's football game and just be happy and stand in the sun and watch my kid do his thing. And uh, it was much better. I felt much better. So we turned on the stream, but then right now, guys, there's nothing to do on Ultimate Team, right? So what we are doing here to, to update you as to why I didn't do anything yesterday is we have planned a project team of the season. So this is now day three of project team of the season. And and I, I wanted to work through the idea of what I was going to do. I mean, Armalika might have released a video yesterday. You know what? I don't, I don't even know if he edited yesterday's hour-long um stream did he did he make an epi yesterday or not let's see no he didn't armalika took a little vacation as well fair play um but anyways what we discussed yesterday uh, for the hour hour and a half that we did the stream um is that we kind of tried to work through how we're going to do a project team of the season now does team of the season start this friday does the pre-pre of the pre-team of the season continue Friday onwards? I feel like team of the season won't start till the new season, right? So if we're being a bit realistic, I would say that with the t uh, with the season expiring in 10 days, I don't think it's going to be this Friday uh, in 15 hours. I think it's going to start next Friday. So we've got about a week and a half of dead content. So what better time than to do... A project team of the season then now so what we ended up figuring out is we're going to do similar to what we did for team of the year which is the crap packs we're going to open because that allows me to build and fund the better packs right so we're going to craft the silver packs the gold four player upgrade packs we're going to craft the uh we're going to do one or two league sbcs a day we're going to get back to doing that just to fund some tradable players into packs um we'll most likely be as you can see here grinding out um some gameplay and evos and all of that which will get us an 87 by 4 and 85 by 10 should be pretty cool for team of the season um so we're going to be doing all that and so the, what we'll open is kind of the one rare gold player packs the mixed electrum packs, the 7.5k packs, maybe even the three player jumbo packs. I don't think I'll open the seven, sorry, seven rare jumbo packs because I think, well, those might be good to open as well because there's, there's a lot of consumables that we could sell off to make more money. So maybe I'll do that too. 
Yeah, so that's going to be the game plan. The, the daily, you know, 83 by 10s or the 84 by 7s, we'll try our best to build those up as we go. Unfortunately, I think for the next week and a half, icon packs will probably be put on hold uh, and picks and, and whatnot. And the reason being is I don't know how I'm going to spam the exchange program and do the icon packs at the same time it's just it's really hard it's really hard to do so we started kind of yeeting the club as well from 85s to 89s 90s and above i will save for something maybe if we get a dupe 90 and above that will went will be we decide okay we'll do this icon pick type of thing or this icon pack or maybe we'll start dino or i'm not entirely sure what the game plan is going to be there specifically but we'll figure that stuff out so project team of the season is well underway we're at well over 100 packs i'm going to double check exactly where we're at here for you guys in a second actually um because we do have some crap packs to open too among a bunch more crap packs. So says 138 packs here, but uh, as mentioned, we are going to grind through some things. So let me walk you guys through that as well, where, where the game plan is. The things that reset that we will be doing. Now, as I said, uh, this is going to be skipped, unfortunately. I just don't have the, um, the the grind in me to get it done. The peepees, I'll be opening these peepees. I don't really know why, but whenever we're doing the daily crappy packs opening during Project Team of the Season, so today, if I get a dupe gold, we'll just go do a player pick. Who knows, right? I know there's nothing in packs, but if we get good fodder, that goes into the exchange. So if we, if we get good dupe fodder, that's 90 and above, then we can consider doing the icon, as I mentioned. So daily refreshes of content we'll be doing. Uh, marquee matchups, of course, we'll be doing as well. Um, this is another thing to talk about. What do you guys think about this? I think this sucks. What do you guys think? I just don't see this paying out. I really don't see this pack, this SBC grind really paying out. Now, again, some would say, yeah, but dude, you're going to put the same players into an 80 plus player pick. That's not going to pay out. But I still feel like at least the 80 plus player pick, it gives us something semi-decent to open, right? Daily. Maybe we only do five. We open five a day, maybe open 10 a day. But that could give us a chance to get, like I said, more fodder to make more for, uh, to, to make more exchange packs, right? Whereas this, I'm not going to open. And I just don't find a 77. Uh, is it a 77 by two even? It's just so ass. I don't think I'm going to do that one, guys. Um, the 82 by 11 Major Leagues pack is a IQ test SBC. This is 85, 85 rated, guys. If you get a dupe 85, you get a dupe 87, you get a dupe 86, you get a dupe 88, why would you ever put it into this when you could just put it into the exchange? And then that will allow you to cycle and rinse and cycle and rinse. So I think I'm just going to not do this. Um, maybe I'll change my mind throughout the next day, but I I'm thinking it's a bit of a waste of time. Um, yeah, so the daily silver and daily golds we're doing every day. And we're going to be opening those every day. And then in terms of challenges, we got the marquee matchups and the team of the season warm-up challenge I don't care about. So marquee matchups two we'll be doing because again, why wouldn't I be doing another five tradable packs? Now jumbo premium gold player pack is pretty decent. Rare mixed will open right now when we craft it. Small rare will save. Jumbo premium gold pack, as I said, I don't know what I want to do there. Premium mix pack will open. Do you think we open the jumbos, guys? Seven rares? Just for the, probably just to sell off consumables, because consumables are getting really expensive right now. To the point where, again, I can't believe in mid-April, seven months into this game, nobody playing this damn game. And I'm sitting here thinking, hey man, I should do the BPM. That's how dumb I am. <sighs> Anyways, uh, let's get rolling on the epi. Let's get in the grind. We've got gameplay to play. We've got champs to play. and get the music rolling. I'm going to say thank you for the subs as well. Rev, thank you for the 39-month resub, dude. S. Gildson, thank you for the 37. Pack Gods with a big 92. That's an OG name. Faisal with another OG resub, 102 months. I hope you're well, dude. Uh, BK, thank you for the 62. Mono with the 113-month primer resub. Thank you, brother. Instinctual, thank you for the 35. Soul Hog, thank you for the 18. Much love, my friends. Much love, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's get rolling. Hey, man. Let's get rolling. So, first things first, do we... Oh, do I want to hate my life and hey, immediately play a game first? Hope you're well. Hmm. I don't know. 
we're kind of just ticking away in yeah. champs we're not really too stressed about it i need to i need to get about 12 wins over the next two days to get my two red picks but again who cares about red hey, picks man. man red picks actually just ruin cards oh you red picked your inform virgil you can't do them you can't put them into the inform evo that they released boring ass hey, stupid stuff that ea does um oh you want it you love your your golasso chabi alonso and you made him red hey, oh man. guess what you can't upgrade him now in the evo because he's not a golasso anymore he's a red so i don't know do i even care about doing reds anymore I'm Amen. not sure, man. I'm not sure, boys. Barrett, thank you for the 19 months, brother. Appreciate you, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, man. Is this stream a safe place for another lost LFC supporter? Much love, Nick. All right. With the Homer Simpson meme. In the dark. Come, sit. Sit next to the Leeds fans, bro. Sit next to the Leeds fans. Sit next to the Leicester fans. Sit next to the Ipswich fans. No, we're all here, man. We're all... We all hate football. We're all so burnt out, man, because none of our teams have brain cells. It's fine. Hopefully Leverkusen fans can be happy today. They win the title. They stay undefeated. I feel like football is such an ass that they're going to lose today. I feel like Leverkusen are going to lose today. I hope not. I hope they absolutely destroy. We're still able to Evo a red card as long as they fit into the current Evo, right? So, again, the, the point that I was making there is, for example... Uh, this Golasso specific Evo. Take my money. Take my money. Take my bank card. 16 watts in champs. New bench and 3k PB. Yet LFC has still ruined my week. Not like this here for a distraction. Brother, I, 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 like I said, man, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. on a Saturday to watch Leeds, to hopefully see my team get a strong win, to get back on track after having a crappy draw and a crappy loss after the international break. With all the teams around us bottling it, I was really expecting us to cook, and my day was completely, my entire weekend was ruined. Thank you. Classic experience being a Leeds fan. Like 99% of the time, your weekend is ruined early as well. You know, Leeds always are on TV at the weirdest hours, so you're we I don't even get till Sunday evening to have a nice day. A nice weekend. My weekend's ruined at 4.30 a.m. on a Saturday. And now I gotta wait, what, eight days before they play again? <laughs> and then I went to the Vancouver Whitecaps game last night and watched them get cooked by LA Galaxy, even though we dominated. Oh, God. What a fun experience that was, though. The kids got to meet the players and get their uh, jersey signed. My kids went onto the field and shook the flags. I got recognized by a couple of viewers as well, which is kind of random. One viewer was a 42-year-old dad that came up and shook my hand, which was kind of emotional. I was pretty excited about that. I, I, you kind of forget that my audience, man, have grown old with me. Like the dude started watching me at 31. He's 42. It was the coolest thing ever. I'm like, you watch me? Me? This, I do these stupid things here. He's like, yeah, I had to quit FIFA um, FC or whatever a couple weeks ago, man. Wasting my time. I'll be back in uh, September. I was like, oh shit. I, I feel you, dude. I wish I could as well. I wish I could quit this until September, man, but I have to pay the bills, you know? I gotta I gotta keep the roof over my head, so gotta keep playing this a couple hours a day. Keeps the lights on. How good is Ryan Gold? Yeah, he's sick, man. Great player. I'm 42, Nick, what you saying? I dude, it's just hard for me to put that onto a viewer's name. You get me? Like to me, you guys are all unhinged psycho 20-year-olds. 19 year olds that's that's what i see my chat as you know i don't know I, anyways the point i was making here about the the guy asking uh about the evo thing right is is this similarly if you love this inform vinny this 90 vinny and he's just your guy so you made him red guess what you can't put him in this evo anymore it's just they're just dumb i would assume similarly here let's say you love the upgraded 90 akanji or whatever the, the upgraded iax 89 guy and you made him red you couldn't put him in here that, come on man that's that's yet another silly ass thing that ea have decided to do it's silly okay so we need three assists for mr grev uh and we gotta win two all right all right all right i don't know how i'm gonna get assists with grev but we're gonna we're gonna do our best guys we're going to do our very best. I'm going to jump over to the uh, friendly squad, though, again. Because what do you do when you're 5-1 in champs? You use your 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 friendly squad. 
and you vibe out. Um, yeah, because I haven't packed anything to add to this team. The latest, the last pack, good pack pull we had was Ricardo Kaká. Gotta start scoring some more goals with him though, man. Uh, let's get Daddy back in here. There we go. Oh, and then Grev drops in rating. Okay, no, you know what? We'll start with uh, Big Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'm 44, 39 and 40 in May. I love it. I love it, man. I'm 40 here as well. See, August 3rd, 52. Shun, really? This is what I mean. Dude, when he came up to me and said, hey, you're Nick 28T, right? It was a 42 year old dad. And I was like, what? Are you talking to me? Like when he said, what's up? And he was so nice. We talked about our kids, like football academies that they're in and whatnot. Nicest guy ever. Nicest guy ever. Dude, the interactions I've had with viewers this week has made me feel really weird because I haven't been recognized probably in like five or six years as a content creator. And now I'm at like my lowest viewer numbers I've ever had in my life, obviously, which is fine. Again, it is what it is. But then to like be brought up by a couple of really nice viewers that just say, hey man, like I still watch your content. I like what you're doing. It made me feel nice and warm inside, guys. I can't lie. I can't lie. I can't lie at all. It was very nice. It was humbling. Now, humbling's not the right word, but anyways. Wait, was he a sub? He didn't say. He didn't say. I didn't I didn't want to get all weird and ask specifics or anything like that. Uh, we got a selfie and whatnot, so if, if he chooses to post it, he does. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I mean, he might have. I don't know. I haven't really checked my mentions. Um, he might have posted it maybe on Instagram? I don't know. Um... Let me see. Rubes, is that another? Is he at a Le Mans? Is he at the Nurburgring? Oh, Rubes is out in the real world at the Nurburgring, I think, right now. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's one of our mods. No, yeah, so he didn't, he didn't, I mean, at least he didn't post it on Twitter. I don't even know how to look at mentions on Instagram. I don't even, I don't know. So he might have posted it on Instagram. I'm not sure. Pen already for Leverkusen. Bro, you know what, man? I'm going to watch this game. I think I have access to the Bundesliga. I'm gonna. This will be the first live Leverkusen game I've watched. My cousin uh, messaged me yesterday. He was at the Frankfurt game. Not that that has anything to do with anything, but you know what, man? We keep up with obviously the uh, most football highlights. I'm gonna just have the game on in the background. Let's see if they're able to uh, make history here. It should be on the zone, right? In Canada, guys. It should be. Sorry, I'm kind of waffling here. We got to get on our grind. There's no way it wouldn't be on DAZN, right? Today. What? Oh, live. There we go. Yep. Yep. I should tell Ethan to watch it. Oh, no. Ethan's fishing with his grandpa today. Ethan is being the true alpha male of the family. All right. There we go. After Ethan has been given the, uh, the, the man keys to the house after having a better Nando's order than me, according to the Twitch chat and all of the internet... He's now continuing to be the man of the house and he's gone fishing for the family while I play video games. <laughs> oh, that made me feel really terrible as a human. Um, anyhow. It's on Sky UK. Yeah, if you're in Canada, it's on DAZN. Dazen. There we go. Oh, they've scored. They made it one nothing. Vamos. Oh, we're, we're joining the hype, the Chabi Alonso hype train, boys. I, should, I wonder what type of Bundesliga team I could put together. I've just yeeted 99% of my club into upgrades, so probably not a very good one, actually. Do I even have a Bundesliga set up? I mean, I guess Oberdorf counts. Let's see. Kimi, Orban, Kohler, Marmouche, Daniel Matson. You see? And then we drop down to, net to nothing, because I've yeeted everything else. Uh, Chavi... whole Bundesliga team of the season should be uh, Leverkusen. It probably will be. I mean, I'd assume the La Liga team of the season is going to be ma mainly Real, right? With maybe some Girona, a couple of maybe Barca, 
Barca players sprinkled in. Okay. God, do I really want to ruin my day and play gameplay? Oh, let's just do it, man. Just man up, dude. Just man up, dude. What do you care, bro? It doesn't mean anything anyways. Who's Daniel Matson? Well, I, I I confused Daniel Malin and Ian Matson uh, into two human beings because they have very similar names and it, it melts my brain cells. So I meant, um, I believe I meant Ian, Ian Matson. This is who I think I was waffling about. I do tend to waffle a lot. I would erupt for a Rafi team of the season. No, I'm going to be really calm here. Don't. Can you just play, bruv? Sorry. Sorry for yelling, everyone. Guys, sorry for yelling. Sorry for yelling, everybody. Did I announce to you guys that I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna be uh, part of the few content creators that get access to Grey Zone Warfare uh, for exclusive streaming April 18th for a week? Me and like Landmark. Professor Broman, Co Carnage, like uh, a bunch of the OGs. I'm pretty excited, man. And, and a bunch of like a, a good, a good 50 or 60 Tarkov OG Tarkov content creators. Um, I did tweet it out, but I don't think I've even talked about it to you guys. So yeah, I got a, I got a hold of the the devs, and uh, I just had a conversation with them, and and uh, they were really excited to have me on board. I mean, you know, a couple of their um, uh, their I guess product managers you'd call them know about the stream and obviously know i'm mainly a fifa guy but know through the years i've been playing fps right they one of the guys watched a lot of my warzone content um uh, another one of the guys watches my tarkov stuff which is also again because you think right even late night w if we get down to to 100 viewers 200 viewers it's that's still 100 or 200 people which is wild absolutely wild sometimes you forget that these numbers are real human beings you chat you guys are real people can you believe that so that's why you gotta just be happy with what you're doing man don't, don't worry about the size of the number. just understand that there's be grateful that there's people that are watching you man yeah firefly dom you're a real person man isn't that wild i thought it was a robot well there's a lot of twitch twitch content creators and youtube content creators Oh my god, anyways, um, there's a lot of Twitch streamers that have been caught viewbotting over the last five or ten years, unfortunately. So, we're all unpaid bots. Beep boop. Oh, Hoffman looks injured. All unpaid bots. Oh, if you look at my YouTube channel, I'm an unpaid bot. I forgot to say nudes in bio. Hey, by the way, can we all have a, like, can we all say hello and, and have a chat with Elon Musk? Come on, man. What have you done to X? To Twitter? All my mentions are, what is happening, by the way? How come I can't find a clean match? All my mentions are porn bots or people promoting their betting tweets. Oh, if you have problem being hacked on Instagram, click this username. Oh, you get 70 to 1 odds on my amazing bets. Oh, nudes in bio. Oh, if you like me here in my nude picture, click my bio. What is happening? How is it not 2 nothing? I don't know, Xavier. I don't know how they missed that chance. It's crazy. Same on YouTube. Dude, do you understand? I mute. You know those YouTube commenters that have like their butts and vaginas hanging out? Oh my God, what a glorious emotional roller coaster your video is. Please post more. And then it's the screen. It's a picture of some chick with her boobs out. I mute and block about 10 of those a day on my channel. Like 80% of the interactions on my YouTube channel are just bots. I don't know if now, I, I, you'll notice on my on my videos you don't see them because I I mute and delete every single one. I mean I have such a <laughs> slow commenting YouTube channel that it's very easy for me to go through ten or thirty comments. Uh, I I don't understand what's happening, man. I'm trying to find a game. This is so dead. Um, 
You know what? Let's see. Like, will I get a quicker game in Rivals? Let's just see. This is a terrible idea, but here we are. On the edge of Division 4. I'm sure that'll be fun. Wait. Tarkov just tweeted. What did they tweet? What did they tweet? What did Battlestate tweet? What did they tweet? Please tell me another band wave. Please, for the love of God, dude. I have Lightkeeper questing to do. Uh, April 15th, 8 a.m. We're planning to install patch 14.55. The game will be not accessible during this period. Well, you know, you know what I would love, and I'm such a nerd. I really want Tarkov to monetize my my love for their game. Please give me more cosmetics to buy. I want to support Battle State as much as I can, man. I, I'm not even kidding. If they do the the purchasable items in the game properly, I'll be all about it, dude. Oh, well, how fun is this? I go on to Rivals and I'm getting 106 ping. What, I'm on two gig fiber internet right now. What is, dude, these servers have been a disgrace for the last four days. What is going on? Guys, for the first time ever, I want to play gameplay. I can't even find a game. I just matched up against a guy in the Middle East. I honestly think me and Nep would have a better connection than that. How in 2024 do we still have P2P level connection? It's just EA or useless, man. I mean, I I, I, I think the problem is we don't have peer-to-peer. -peer. It's, it's what lags this game out so much is because you're both pinging into a server in a certain distance and there's a million and one factors into what will dictate you having a clean game. Your internet connection, where, what server you ping into, how far away it is, there's just so many variables where your opponent is are they two feet away from the server so they get perfect ping okay at least we found a clean connection hell yeah and he's not clicking through i wonder why i wonder why oh, look at this brother are you just making sure you've got the match you want what's happening here Oh, God. <clears throat> it's a sign not to ruin your mood and bad gameplay. Well, here we go! <laughs> FC Calgary, again! It's always the same five guys! Oh, my God. Leave me alone, man. This is like the 40th time this guy's tried to use Athena against me, dude. And then he subs her off. Oh... Oh, Cantona was actually very slow to react there. This guy's obsessed with Athena. I, I, I respect it. Has he scored with Athena against me? Tell you what, I'll quit if he scores with Athena against me at any point in time in this game. Edwin van der Sar stands between the posts. Cafu plays with Grimaldo as the fullbacks. Bruno Fernandez plays. Now, this has to be. Well, yeah, move your keeper. I'll dream time near post. Puta madre. Let's go, King Eric. Thunder twats at near post. Green timed. Erupt, baby. Come on. Bruno Fernandez. Let's go. Oh, what? I don't know how he intercepted that. Awesome. I love kickoff. I love kickoff. Look at this Nancy celebration. Look at this guy. Absolute loser. Imagine thinking you're good because you scored a kickoff. Kaka! Come on, man! Wake up! Hey man, 
Thanks for confirming my real person, Kappa. Much love, brother. What is this ref on, man? Why are you giving these fouls? What is happening here? I've never seen that before. What? I have no one to pass the ball to. This is hilarious. Rude bullet. Eric Kentonov. The ref allowing play to continue. Right, but that's a foul. All right, sick one. Lovely ball. This could lead to something. Wesley Snyder. Messi. Can't believe AI Kafu blocked that off the line, man. That's so crazy. Nice try, nice try. Nice try. Pressure on, it will be another corner. It's weird how that took me off of um the guy I was controlling, even though I was right there. Oh my goodness. Did Leverkusen just crack it off the bar? What the hell was that? I just saw that shot in the corner of my eye. Oh, Pasca Denmark. Best of luck on the free sub, man. Hopefully you get it, brother. Thank you for uh, watching the channel enough to even have that. As a, uh... Wow, crazy chance. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they get the Bundesliga title if they win today, yep. Grimaldo. They do. Read the pass well and cuts it out. Lionel Messi. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh! Wes! Oh, yeah, you didn't want to watch that replay, did you, you loser? Let's go. Oh, my God. Schneidzi with the five-star weak foot snipe. Oh, man. It's crazy how my man gets that much of a press going. I gotta get Grev out of this team, though, man. He's just gonna cause me to look. That's, not a bad looking goal. That's outrageous. Brilliant. Let's go! Big Sam with the last ditch tackle there. Kaka. Well, they've come so close to equalizing, haven't they? Just need to keep putting the pressure on. And I'm sure they'll get the goal that they fully deserve. Foul! That's a foul all day! Ref! Big rude. Hey, man. Oh my god, Ricardo Kaká! Oh! This guy's getting absolutely rinsed! Let's go, boys! GG! That's three sick goals! Oh my god! I should have just passed that across goal, but I had to shoot with Kaká there, man. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just do it. Nice try. Nice try. Oh my god, Kaka, that was so dirty. Holy. Um, okay, so let's bring on Zambrotta. Let's bring on Archibald. Uh, 
Now, that connection's pretty clean. Uh, I mean, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, it doesn't mean I'll win or lose, but the gameplay is... At least I can do what I want to do here, which is nice. Here it comes. Still a chance of oh! Archie just missed it! Archie just missed an open net header! What have I just witnessed? Hold on! We have to see that back! Archie! I, I might have to sub you out, man. Oh god, Archie. What a ball. Ooh, King Eric! Oh, you don't want to watch that replay? Don't worry, I'm going to, though. Don't worry, I'm going to, though. Okay, watch this. We're greening everything right now, boys. Dude, Archie, what the hell? Anyways, great, great header there. Great header there, nice and low. Archie. <laughs> Archie! Okay, hold on a sec. What? I mean, I don't know. It almost feels like that should be a pen, no? Maybe not. Doubled up for the day. Maybe not. Nice tackle. Just kidding. Like I said, this guy, this guy and his obsession with Athena always stream sniping. What's up, Aftershock? Are you okay? C7 gal, thank you for the two months with Prime. Bergy, thank you for gifting the sub to pass. Much love, dude. Dom, thank you for the 24. Thanks for the support, guys, during that uh, first half. This guy's getting cooked, though, which is nice. He's from Calgary. We have no mercy for Calgarian stream snipers. Well, I mean, it would have been cool if my pass came off. I tried to pass three different times there. Okay, what? It's been cut out. There's the turnover. Oh, yeah, baby. What a ball. Good patient build up, but not quite the end product. Could be a chance to break here. Kimmich. Ball, this this is garbage ass football you're playing, my man. Well, any chance has gone for now. Wesley Schneider with a absolutely diabolically inaccurate garbage pass. Nice tackle. Love that. Does Cantona have a power shot? I might try that from that range. The problem is, I think it's he, he gets slowed down so much, doesn't he? Nice. Good work from old boys to win it back. Oh my God, dude, you're getting cooked. How's that little stupid celebration you did there? Hey, when you made it one-one. I know you're watching the stream because you waited to load into the game until the stream was loaded up. How we feeling, bro? Pretty bad, eh? Probably feeling pretty bad about yourself today on a, on a Sunday morning, stream sniping and getting cooked. Oh wow, Kimmich with the insane. This Ribery is a nightmare to deal with, to be fair. Oh wow. Look at this, look at this guy. Kaka looks insane. Oh. 
He's 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 really really fast for his height. Really really fast. Stopping him yet. Oh! Oh! Wanted to do a skill cancel there. Come on, Wes. It stops there. Nothing at the end of it. Atomia. Come on, Wes. Nice tackle. Possession given away. Of that. Cantona. He's in here. <laughs> I did a power shot cancel. Keeper in no man's land. To shoot cross body and Cantona doesn't hit the target with 99 finishing. What? Oh, I was so excited with that shot, dude. Cantona, rules are rules, brother. You gotta go. You gotta go. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Wait, what actually is his finishing? Uh, no, I know it's 90, but we... Look! 99 attack positioning, dude! Where's the actual finishing stat, though? Finishing. 99 finishing, 99 attack positioning, bro. Under no pressure, he can't even hit the target. What the fuck? Come on, man. That's outrageous. Bruno Fernandez. Oh, could be a chance here. Cristiano Ronaldo. David. No, this has to be. Dude, okay. What? <laughs> I mean, I get the shot off and get clattered. I don't score. Is how is that not a pen? What's happening in this game? Ah. I can't. I don't even understand what's happening. Ronaldo, are you okay? There we go. <laughs> Gameplay so bad right now. What? I guess it. The connection is clean. But, yeah, I mean, the bounces and the stupidity of this game, I guess, are st you can't stop that, unfortunately. Um, I would say the server connection in this game is okay. It's it's fine. It's chill. But, it, I mean, yeah, the, the mechanics, the bounces, all that stuff is just horrific. Love that. Beat the press beautifully. Oh. Nice try. Half time for Lady Verkusen. Let's go, baby. Schneidzi is off, so we'll give it to Messi. Messi to Ronaldo. Messi to Ronaldo erupt. Ronaldo! Oh, come on! That would have been sick. Uh, what? Okay, we got another attempt. Yo, that would have been sick. Sorry for yelling, but that would have been so satisfying to score. Messi or Ronaldo with the bicey? Over it comes. It's a red card. It's a pen. Kimmich pulled Ronaldo in the air. Nice. This guy's terrible. How would you stream snipe when you're this bad? I don't understand. David. Ronaldo, the problem with Ronaldo is, dude, you just can't dribble with him, man. You gotta just sprint. No intricate dribbles. Jonathan David. Like I find Kaká is so the same kind of height as Ronaldo, but you can uh switched on and ready to intercept that. That's a red. 
Oh my god! Red card. Send him off, ref. That's abuse. Why is Mr. Good Evening so happy, dude? It, we're six and one. Dude, does he not realize we have 14 games of champs still to play? Why are you so happy, dude? We got 14 games of this hell to play. Good evening. <laughs> he quit the game. What? <laughs> Wow. I didn't even know you could do that. That's crazy, dude. That is that is uh, that is outrageous. That is outrageous, outrageously toxic behavior, man. He knows it was the last W of the weekend. I feel like all our goals were absolutely nuts. This is green time near post. Oh, you know what? He didn't even move the keeper. I thought he dragged the keeper slightly. Either way, I was decided I decided to shoot near post cuz 99% of the time people move the keeper cross body there. Green time near post is cracked. Holy. And then he scored this from kickoff, which is always fun. My whole team is left wide open, bro. I don't know what to do to make your my team wake up for kickoff. I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do. This is nice. It just felt clean. I just felt clean. I think that's the first time I've scored a Burba spin onto a weak foot. Finesse. That used to be my bread and butter in uh, a couple years ago. This was cracked too. We missed uh, a whole bunch of the other skills as well. But I mean, I could have just sweat that across goal for Cantona. Look at Cantona. Look at Cantona. He's like, bro, come on. <laughs> if I missed that, I think Cantona would have drop kicked Kaka. Anyways, another green time shot by Eric. This time crossbody. Bang. Oh my god. And uh and then what? I don't know. That was just me scooping. Scooping his nuts off. Ball roll scoop. The ball's bouncing too. Like how how's Kakai even doing this? Bouncing in the air, scoops it as his bouncing, ball rolls it, scoops it as his bat. Like, what the fuck? Oh. Anyways. And then he hit me with a full celebration, scoring at 5 2, so we had to make it 6 2. I don't know what Ronaldo was up to there. Yeah, Johnny D with the Travels. That wasn't that good. That was just him coughing up possession on the press. Pen for Ajax? Let's go. Three point eight XG is actually horrific, isn't it? I thought my XG would have been way better than that. Yep. Leverkusen are one nothing up right now, boys. One nothing up. Crossbody shots with Kakar insane. Uh, I don't know what the curve is. I, I think he's got regular Travella. The gray Travella. Um, okay, let's uh, let's pop some packs. This will kind of give you guys an idea of kind of how I deal with dupes, where I put the dupes, all that stuff. The bronzes are just from the silver upgrade packs, but it's, I mean, this is great too. This just restocks the club nicely. I'm not doing any BPM or anything like that, which I should. I definitely should be doing the BPM. Ajax 2-1, let's go! They converted the pen. Hup, Ajax, hup. Robies takes their pens, huh? Hey, man. 62. Storm. Thank you for the 62. Uh, yeah, these all open. These are just 7.5k packs. Not seen too many games of Boniface is a beast. Yeah, I, 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 dude, I don't, I don't watch much Bundesliga other than highlights. And when we're loading into Tarkov raids, uh, we kind of catch up on our football highlights. 
So we just kind of got through the uh, Champions League, Europa League games over the last couple of days, finally. Girl! We'll keep that for sure. Cruyff is destroying people? Must be nice, hey? Must be nice to have a Cruyff to destroy people with. I'm jealous, Ballon d'Or. I am jealous. Minta is balling at Feyenoord. And he's out on loan. Oh, Dom just said. He's out on loan from uh, Newcastle. Why did I think he was on loan from Brighton? I feel like that would be a type of player that Brighton would have, though. But he's out on loan from uh, Newcastle, right? How much are these nowadays? Let's go, man. It's a good way to re uh, restore some coins to the club. Is there a way to revive FC next year? Yeah. Uh, fix the damn gameplay. Have a constantly ever-changing meta so people don't sit for seven months in a row playing high press, 10 players behind the ball, running to the bylines, looking for sweats all game. Um, that would be great. I mean, that's okay if that's the meta for a week or so, but they got to start nerfing AI defending so that that's all people depend on is letting the game do everything for them. That would be a start. Uh, fixing the server so you don't get clean gameplay in one every 10 games. Be nice to get clean gameplay in maybe 70, 80% of the games. Like, I'm well aware that there's not every game is going to be perfectly clean. So, last year or the year before, I, I was very much in enjoyment of the cleanliness of gameplay overall. I, I, I feel like I still got very mad at gameplay, but I was getting mad maybe two or three games out of the day. If we played 10 games in the day, six or seven of the games were really clean. Two or three of them were not. Right now, it's one or two games out of ten that are clean. Like, that last game I just played felt okay. There's still bad game mechanics and uh, bounce backs and whatever. But in terms of just actual server uh, client-side delay in that game, it, that felt pretty clean. I'm sure my next three games are going to be awful because of it. But So, I mean, sorting out the servers, uh, sorting out evos, making them actually viable. They're, they're, they're so clueless. They're so... I mean, the last couple of weeks of Evos just shows how clueless they are. I mean, the, the, the last six or seven months of how they've done Evos just goes to show how absolutely clueless they are. They do not know how to monetize this game or how to run this game properly. They know how to monetize this game, but they only know how to monetize this game while disenchanting and and burning out their, view, their user base or making their viewer base angry, right? So they're really good at monetizing all this crap. But they just do this and then eventually everybody gets sick of it and they they everybody quits. They're, they're, they're really good at just throwing monetizable values to some of these Evos, right? 75k, 350k, 100k, 50 But they, there's no intelligence behind any of this. There's no intelligence behind 99% of their paid Evos. Like, paid Evos should be legit fantastic Evos and they should be barely any work to do. You're paying for it. This should be basically like paying to upgrade your card. The free Evos should be really good in my opinion as well, but they should require quite a bit more work. Or for example, another advantage of paid Evos is maybe you can do two paid Evos at a time, whereas the free Evos, you can only do one at a time. Brother, I, I just off the top of my head, I give these guys million dollar ideas. I give these guys million dollar ideas off the top. Again, paid Evos should give you the option, instead of no playstyle pluses, this allows you to replace the playstyles from the Evo of your current Evos. So you can take a player that has two Evos, you go into this paid Evo, you pay for it, and it just tells you, just know that your slide tackle Evo gets replaced by Travella. Do you understand how much more money they would make off this game if paid Evos allowed you to switch out playstyles so you could keep upgrading your favorite players? But maybe free Evos don't. Okay, that's a bit money hungry from EA, but it's another way for them to make money. Hey, I'm here all I'm here all year for 11 years EA. Don't worry, you can keep ripping these ideas off me if you want. It'll make the game better for God's sake. Yeah, that's probably something that they're now writing down in their notes. Oh my god, implementing for FC25. Paid Evos will now have the ability to switch out playstyles. Playstyle pluses.
I think you've once you've put players in, there shouldn't be a deadline to complete it. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the deadlines. I mean, I, I, I like that the Evos have a deadline on them that they expire. So you have some uh, incentive to complete them and get and get them done in, in certain time periods. Um, but yeah, I, I suppose if you've paid or done an Evo, why they... I mean, I've got uh, two or three players that are just stuck on really low Evos because I forgot to do them. Evos themselves were your and Nep's ideas from years ago. That's what I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not even trying to t t take credit for it because I'm sure other content creators than me and Nep have talked about these things. I mean, how many? It feels like a decade plus. I've talked about Pez's upgrade system and something EA should implement. So I mean, the fact that they did it this year. I'm not. Me and Nep will never try and claim that we came up where we were. We were pushing for these changes. I'm just grateful that they did it. But I'm also very annoyed that they've done it this poorly. There's so much potential in every facet, in every part of Ultimate Team. It's infuriating that this is the bare minimum that we get. They make so much money off of everyone. It's ridiculous. Hello, red hair, all the way on the YouTube live chat. What's up, brava? I'm waiting on the Nick28 feet only fans. Sometimes I wonder why I click the YouTube section of the live stream. <laughs> the comments are even more unhinged than the Twitch chat. Milestones ruined, moments ruined, yeah, in a nutshell. Yeah, they'll probably just they'll probably just give up on Evos. Could be one of the greatest things added to this game and the watch them just get I mean look at look at the draft. The draft eight years ago was one of the best things added to the game, and they have not changed it in eight fing years. The draft could be one of the most nuts parts of this game entirely. And they just let it die. It's, it's, it's absolutely nuts. Goodbye. I'm in a mute chat for one sec. I'm rec I know I'm recording, but sorry. I, one sec, one sec. All right, love you. Bye. How are League SBCs? They're fine. They're basically free to do. I'm doing League SBCs one or two times a day. They want it to die so they can revamp it and claim they did a good thing. But why not revamp the game as it's going on? Wouldn't that be even better? Yeah, League SPCs are chill, man. I mean, I need somewhere to put my main League bronzes and silvers, and then you use like 183 or 84. Nep said the team that coded the draft left, and the people now don't know how to re-edit certain stuff, something like that. Man, I really hope that's not real. That would be so, so insane. Imagine letting go of a team of devs or whatever and not replacing them. Like, how do these, how do these executives at EA still have jobs? Imagine letting go a portion of your business enterprise and not having a replacement to keep going the things that earn money or the things that are developed into a game or into a company. Brother, that's like having a warehouse and letting go of your warehouse floor staff and then the machines just all start breaking and nothing's working. And you're just like, oh, well, we're just gonna let everything stay on fire because we let go of the people that work on the fundamentals. So, ha 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 fun, fire. We'll still wreck in our tens of millions in bonuses. How many packs have you saved so safe? Uh, we have... I think we're just over 100. I'm, I'm kind of getting through the crappy packs. Let me get through the crappy packs first and then we'll kind of know. I think we'll have to go on the web app to open some real crap ones too. How much are these? 1200 oh, oh, I love it. I love PC prices, dude. That's exactly how EA works. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. They definitely didn't get rid of the, uh, the store coding dev team. That always looks like an icon to me. Hey? 
the non-rare golds, because I, 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 I haven't in a very long time, I feel like a week or two, really opened non-rare gold packs. I haven't done much League SBC grinding, so these freaking packs, every time I think I'm packing an icon. Um, I mean, technically Emerson is a dupe. So let's go do a PP. Contracts are making me bank. Yep. You just build up your, your contracts for the weekend. And then on Saturday, Sunday, even Monday, you sell off your contracts, bro. And you clear so much profit. I mean, or you could just sell them as they are. I mean, you're always going to sell them for two to 500 for non-rares and three to 700 for rares. And manager contracts go from 1,000 to 3,000 all the time. It's just insane. It's just absolutely insane. Oh, I finally sold Vidic. Let's go. Okay, this was these were Friday sales. There you go, 1,700. Yeah, those had to be Friday sales. Where are we at here? Okay, maybe I've been overlisting. Maybe they only go for 400. They might actually only go for 400, guys. Why am I saving all of these Leeds players? Brother, I have no idea. In the hope that some cool Evos... Um, again, he's fresh, so I'm just going to stick with this sale price. It's a fresh card. I, I will eventually get a sale. I don't care that he's 30k. I'm going to try and get my 15k out of it. Uh, okay, so... Would it be better to just do this? gonna be really annoying though i have a lot of them to sell i think it is better to do this ah uh, yeah you know what let me take a couple minutes and do this e-football time uh when does the new e-football come out in the summer right we'll play at least a couple of weeks of that as we always do is it july that it comes out no i think it comes out august I don't even know, are they planning to do a new one this year? Like, uh, essentially a wipe? I remember in the last couple of years, there hasn't really been a new game type of thing. They're not really doing a new game anymore, are they? Right? Oh, the new season. Wait, did the new official full season just come out? I thought they did that. Man, they were really smart when they did it in July and August because it was such a dead time for Ultimate Team that they definitely would have kept capturing more and more Ultimate Team viewers. I mean, releasing a new season a, a week before Team of the Season is, I don't know, not the smartest idea. F124 is five weeks away. Yep. I'm hyped about that. For sure. That should sell. Wow, really? Miley didn't sell. He was the cheapest by a thousand. Okay. At least trade pause kind of dealt with. That's good. Uh, what did we establish? We needed to deal with that Spurs guy, right? So, do we go to marquee matchups first? Premier League 2, England 2. Players from the same league, minimum 5. I mean, this is this is the one. Whatever happened to the other games, UFL and whatever? I, I've, I kind of keep up with all of them. I, they, they, what people don't understand is video game development takes a very long time, right? So this UFL game probably won't be anything until another 2-3 years. I mean, Grey Zone Warfare, what, what I'm going to be a part of next week... It probably won't be a 1.0 access game for the next two or three years. I mean, Tarkov is still technically a beta. Tarkov's been in beta for seven years, right? So. So what's the requirement again? 76, okay. Ivory Coast managers are 5K because of Drogba. Uh, I mean, mine didn't even sell for 1500. So kind of, this is where I get rid of some of my 84s. Uh, 
of about 47 Christian Eriksons. Maybe we'll just get rid of Miley. See how far off we are. I am using quite a few um, bronzes. How far will we be? Okay, so if I gotta use a silver, it's him. Oh, whoops. 76, it's gotta be 78, right? So this is kind of what I do with League SBCs as well, right? Because the 84s and 83s is nowhere really to put them right now for the project team of the season. So this is kind of what I'm doing with League SBCs. Uh, not always. I'll use a lot of silvers. But if I need a two or three or four rating boost, you just throw 184 in there and boom, you're good to go. And 84s are a thousand coins. So it's almost the same price of the uh, untradeable silvers that you're using. Hey, Irish, what's up, man? I wonder what we're getting in Tarkov, man, with this update. Maybe maybe some new event? That'd be fun. I'm back on my Lighthouse, Lightkeeper quest grind, so... <clears throat> I got an awesome daily for SJ9s today. Survive Reserve, too. Like, nothing too crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and um, get our Reserve grind on tonight, which I was doing yesterday. I think we had five survives yesterday. Watch today, I don't survive a single raid. Web app, web app extension pale tools. I've heard about a lot of stuff. I don't do uh, I don't do extensions or anything like that, man. I I don't want to give EA a single reason to ban my RTG account. It's too important to my streaming and my grind and whatnot. So seven eight years ago, I decided to just completely stop uh, promoting coins. Uh, what what am I talking about? Like nine years ago now, probably. And uh, I I don't do anything any stuff like that either. Whether or not you guys get away with it, whether or not maybe it's in a gray area where you guys don't think you can get banned, unfortunately, I have to play by different rules. EA are very um, diligent in making sure they they pay attention to everything I do. I, I, I'm telling you, I haven't had any type of contact with EA in probably three, four years. I promise you, if I were to get a coin sponsor right now, my account would be banned instantly. And they'd probably put a cease and desist on my Twitch channel. So it's just not worth it. I mean, coin selling doesn't make creators the money it did 9 or 10 years ago, but it still makes crazy money. And I really, honestly, financially for myself, I really should get a coin sponsor. Um, because it would honestly help make up for the heavy loss of viewership I've had over the last 2-3 years. But I just still... I still don't know if it's it's worth the risk. I should probably talk to Nep about it and just see how he is um, feeling about it. Twitch somehow unfollowed you for me. I hate this website. Did it really? That sucks. Okay, Haidema and Victor Diaz. That sucks, man. Sorry to hear. We got some, we got, I mean, thousands at this point of uh old school viewers that have 10 years plus following the channel there you go dave is on wow is dave actually been following since july 2014 that's within eight months of me starting my streaming career that's crazy can you believe that he's coming up on 10 years just following the channel nuts Uh, okay, so Seri Ah. Uh... Item uh... I don't know how I'm going to get a Canadian link here, but we'll figure it out. Italy. You know what? Let's do just this and this. Players from one club, minimum three. Thanks for the sub! Rare players. Uh, Ballon d'Or giving a sub to Dave. There you go. 10-year follower getting a gifted. You love to see it. You love to see it. Okay, so since I have to use a silver, I might as, use, might as well use a higher-rated silver. 
So again, if you're looking at what I'm doing and like, okay, why is he doing this? Why, why is he using it? Why doesn't he use these non-rare golds? Why is he using these silvers? Well, I don't use these silvers for anything else, number one. I, I, I don't do evos on players unless they're leads or Canadian players. So that's the first reason why I don't save these, what you might consider some cool looking silvers, right? Number two, saving all these lower rated golds lets me, once I'm done the marquee matchups for the day, lets me then put the dupes into just player pick packs. So we get more fun packs, right? I don't want to be lazy and use these golds into these marquee matchups and whatnot. Um, because I just have so many other things. Do I not have any... Like, Taijon Buchanan, I'm never going to use, obviously. Wait, what is going on here? Ah, here we go. Hey, man. We must have the cam now, hey guys? Yeah, I, I suppose I yeeted through. Hey, man. Okay, you did through my bronzes. Right, so now I'm... Th so, again, now I'm three away, yeah? So then I'll go to one of the 74s. Okay. Do that. And was it the... Striker? That we had an 84 for? No. No, we had Rabio, right? Or Lobotka. And that'll probably be a, be a bit too much. No, it's perfect. There you go. All right, so I'm using some lower rateds, getting rid of the dupes, and then the 84s that are worthless anyways drag up the rating. That's the best way to do this team of the season grind, in my opinion. Ryan, thank you for the 31. Red hair gifting us up to Browway, Broways. Let's go. Do I do 6 p.m. content every day? Yep. Every single day, my brother. But we're still, what, 12 minutes away from it. So we're doing uh, doing a bit of our project team in Season Grind. All right, Prime Electrum packs I'm going to open. Any packs that have silvers in them, I'm going to open. Doing any showdowns? Nope. Wait, what? How the hell have I managed that? Vic Didn't I use the Spanish idiot? Victor Diaz. No way. Leverkusen 2 nothing. Who scored? No way. The Arsenal boy scored, I think, guys. Did he score? I think he did. Mr. Xhaka scored. Yep. What a player. All right, 76 rated. We'll just do this one then. Minimum league fours and four leagues in the starting 11. That's a vibe. I must have used the wrong guy, man. It's awkward. Okay, so league, uh. The hell am I doing, man? Okay, so then what I want to do is what? Well, two league uh, players. Okay. Yeah, Leverkusen uh, win it today. They do win it today. Okay, so that'll get a super link on those two plebs. And then now, what I think will be very easy to do is go Spain and we'll go low to high. Uh, so we'll probably go Portuguese league. We'll go... I mean, I don't think I'll ever really be able to use that. Throw her in there. We'll throw this Austrian dude in there. We'll throw this Polish dude in there. And I think we got it. And if not, we'll throw him in there. And... 
and... 73... What was it? 75 rated? 76 rated. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's 74. That's 75. That's 77. I mean, who cares? Whatever. Could have saved maybe the 74, but whatever. Hoffman just missed? Oh. 107 kilometer. Oh my god, how has Hoffman missed that? You were not lying. Oh my lord. That's why you gotta work on your damn weak foot, man. He's so left footed, isn't he? How do you miss that? Ay, Dios mio. Wow, wow, wow. Offside? Wait, how is he possibly offside there? What? It got passed backwards. He's right... No way he's right-footed. I feel like playing that meme clip of that dude in, I think, Portuguese, screaming at his players, saying, like, You've got... You, 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 you piss around and play PlayStation all day. You've got the best massage therapist. You have the best training. You eat the best foods. You're the most fit players ever. You know that guy that's just losing his mind and, and it names off everything and you can't score, so you can't make a simple pass. You guys remember, is it in Italian? Is it in Italian? Oh my God, I, can't, I mean, I just remember it off the top. I just was watching the translation of it. So good, dude. Oh man. That guy reminds me of myself when I'm raging at all the issues with Ultimate Team and what EA are doing wrong with this game. I don't know. Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, I have no idea. I can't, I just remember the meme itself. Spanish? Hey man. Amazing. Okay, well, uh, marquee matchups are done. So, Izuki, we'll put him into the final marquee matchup. That should take us right to 6 p.m. content, which is perfect. Three gold players, and then the rest can be silver. Erupt. Okay. Wait, what time's the Arsenal game at? Uh, Pro League. Let's see. I don't know what, how many silvers. Dude, Florian Verts, it's crazy too, like fair play to him and Alonso, etc. for just staying at Leverkusen. I think Florian Verts said he wants to stay another year too. Now? Oh, I kind of want to watch the end of this uh, Leverkusen game. Wow, man, what a shot by Xhaka, dude. Seriously, that is a banger. I mean, brother, I need three golds, right? And then... Got a right mid. Actually, let's go low to high, ratings-wise. Okay, obviously I can't use bronzes, which again is stupid. I find that... Insane. Okay, does that get it done? 18. Boys, we cooked, man. We cooked. Got those marquee matchups done in no time for completely free. Uh, and now what I'll do is I'll kind of just use the off nations. Uh, the rare silvers I'll, I'll keep for icon grinding, crafting, whatever. What the fucking hell am I doing right now?
Wait, what? Guys, what have I done? I think I screwed up. Nah, we're still good. Hope we get a team of these in Shaka with his stats look like this year. I think I'm sure you will. I am sure you will. Yeah, Jumbo Premium Gold Player will hold on to. So now, the rest of the day's grind will do 80 plus PPs. So, not that there's anything really to pack in packs, but it'll give us a little bit. 3 0 now? What? I hate that you guys are ahead of me. Jaka to Gabriel. Back to Jaka. To Andrich, to Verts. Oh my! Florian Verts, what a hit, man! Oh my god! Wow. Dude, what? Dude, oh my god, what an absolute banger, man. Holy shit. Team of the season, Verts, is gonna be crazy. Keeper maybe should have done a little bit better, but the way that had power and dip, man, I think it's just the pace that beat the keeper. I think it's the pace that beat the keeper more than anything. All right, we'll do the Prime Electrum. Um, can I get a coffee top up? It's it's what? Um, no, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna pop this pack, take a pee pee, and then it's gonna be 6 p.m. content, boys, which is pretty hype. Um, come on, come on, Florian Verts. Uh, yeah, you gotta blame the keeper, but I mean that was still a banger. Oh, nothing good out of the Prime Electrum. That's too bad. All right, boys. Well, 6 p.m. content is here. Uh, is Fafana tradable? Oh, let's get a one PP. <laughs> one PP for 6 p.m. content, boys. There you go. That's, that's, with Team of the Season looming, that's the excitement we get. Instead of 50 PPs for 6 p.m. content today, we get one. One PP. Okay, so what was it? It was uh, the French dude, right? Fofana? Was it Fofana? No, this guy. All right, there we go. Fair play to Leverkusen, man. Three nothing up. Bundesliga title is theirs. What a party it's gonna be in that part of Germany, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, let's see. Imagine we get something crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, never mind. Never mind. So on this lovely Sunday with absolutely nothing going on right now, what type of content can we expect from EA? Did I mean, we didn't get a mini release yesterday, did we guys? Is there, is it just a log in, log out? Is it just gonna be us continuing to play a bit of gameplay, building up packs for team of the season? Wow, I genuinely think it's just, this might be the deadest week of ultimate team in all time. It said team of the season verified at the bottom. I don't know. Um, I don't know what that was about. Well, let's see. Do we get any new objectives? Don't forget your daily uh, your daily warm up though, guys. That actually has some pretty good packs in there. Okay, so objectives have basically died. They don't really do anything with objectives anymore. Maybe a good Evo. 
It's Sunday after all. Come on, man. Okay. No new Evos. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. SBCs. I guess that's all. The last hope we have for today is SBCs. So the daily login will obviously do... Wait. Did I just see another icon pack? Hold on. I think I just saw another icon pack. Again, guys, when you see this SBC, just do it. It's the easiest way to not forget it. You see it. You complete it. You get an 81 plus pack towards team of the season. You unlock another uh, even better pack. Two for the next... We get two a day now, or have we always had two a day? I think they might have made it a bit cheaper. I remember these being two 88s and an 87. Damn, man. I really want to open these for a chance at Cruyff or Hullet. Wait, no. Yeah. Well, no. Thunderstruck Cruyff. Wild card, team of the year, future star icons. Man. I don't think I have enough players to get this done, guys. I hope during team of the season we get something fun like this. I really do. During Team of the Season is probably when we'll do maybe even Zambrotta, but definitely get Dino done. So the 83 by 10 has been refreshed. Um, Dyer, Trossard, Sandro. Earn a showdown, Sandro linked with E Serie A Final 8 matchup. I don't know if this is new or old. Is this new or old? Eighty-seven rated with an info. I don't even know if that's new or old, guys. That has to be old. Team of the season daily. Oh my god, there's actually no content today. What? The IQ test SBC is back. Billing Van de Ven got so. I love Rio Ferdinand. Claiming this is the, the next greatest center back of all time in the Prem. And he got put on his ass twice against Newcastle. Is this new? Is this if I feel like this is the first time we've had a flashback in months. Flashback Florenzi celebrating his memorable goal against FC Barcelona in 2015. High, high. Three-star skills, but this is basically a... Zambrotta regen. Dude, the, the defensive stats. He's got whipped pass and ping pass plus. Huh. With an anchor, this card's nuts. That's a cool ass card. I mean, I'd still be very disappointed if this was the only content today. Good card, though. Very good card. Very, very good card. I must, I must have missed something. Have I missed maybe an icon that they added? Bex, Essien. No way. Wait. The gold and silver upgrade packs are gone now too. Yo, my silver and gold upgrade packs are officially gone. What? Did they get rid of them? Dude, those were so good for the team of the season build-up. No, no, they're at seven. They're at seven. They're at seven. It's a, yeah, it's that stupid thing. It's at seven. It's at seven, guys. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. 7 p.m. 7 p.m. So we got no Evos. And Evos have been dead for a week and a half. Basically no SBCs. Friday's team was the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. So boring. So dead. Apparently there is an objective. I'm 13 wins away. I got an 80 plus by five, that's terrible. Is it in milestones, guys? Where is it? It's gotta be in live. I must have just not seen it. Team of the season weekend opening. Play and win matches to earn packs. Is this it? Play three matches. In just squad battles. 
You're joking. Oh, or champs are right. Oh no, or champs are rivals. I'm just, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Leave me alone. Uh, 81 plus by defenders, midfielders, attackers. 83 defender pack. 83 midfielder pack. And then I guess the completion is the attacker pack. Okay. I mean, I guess I just get to earn that over time. That's kind of chill. We'll save all of these for team of the season as well. Wow, man. Guys, I can't believe that that's quote unquote the content. That's it. Is that it? That's it, guys. I'm shocked. I mean, we've made great money today on consumables, so that's a W. I mean, for everyone, I feel like that isn't me. That's just a log in, log out. Isn't it? That's a, that's a log in, log out. Damn, bro. Savage. Savage behavior from EA. Okay, well, I guess we're, we're back to opening our um, our pre-team of the season packs. Our uh, pre apaculation Pre-team of the season apaculation Yeah, heavy non-10, man. But well, that's okay. Be interesting to see where we are at the end of the day in terms of packs built up for team of the season. Oh my gosh, what have I done? I haven't even logged in. Bro. Yeah. This week is going to be very rough for us content creators, dude. I'm glad I'm doing a project team of the season. It gives me something to do for a couple of hours a day, but I'm so happy that we got Grey Zone Warfare on on the 18th onwards. That's exciting. Um when when do when do I get access to Manor Lord? The end of the month, right? We're going to be playing a lot of Manor Lord too. Hopefully they knock Team of the Season out of the park, man. I really want, once again, to have that feeling that I had a couple of weeks ago with all the good content. Where I'm like, damn, man. I could play this all day. But then I went to Tarkov anyways. But at least I, I, I wanted that, that FOMO. I feel like EA have been so bad at the game this year. That they have completely stopped all, all, all of us. Even the most hardcore enjoyers of this game from having FOMO. The fear of missing out is not there anymore, man. 10 coin pack can suck my ass. You guys must be new to the channel. Oh, you are new commenters. So Santos and Str uh, Star Strongfoot, I want you guys to know, I do not go to the store pack section. We've made a stand now for the last couple of months. Um, and, and I mean, we've kind of made a stand for 11 years of just telling Ye to shove it up their asses trying to make money off of us in the store pack section. But I've now officially made the stance where I am not promoting any store packs. The fact that they've turned... A heavy part of 6 p.m. content, which used to be objectives, SBCs, gameplay, draft upgrades, whatever. They've changed all of that and taken things out of the SBC section and put them into the store to make and or convince content creators that it's a good idea to show this payable store packs as content. I'm not be I don't want to be a part of that. So I don't care about 10 coin packs, 30 coin packs. All that stupid crap. Um, I'm just not even going to that section. Obviously, go open those packs. Don't get me wrong. I mean, that's you should still be doing that. But um, I just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not promoting the store in in any capacity anymore, ever again. Dude, they're lucky enough to get us paying them a hundred bucks a year for the new game when all they do is copy and paste 99% of the game's code every year and still have the audacity to charge like $150 for the ultimate version of the game. Improved connection pack, would I do it then? I, I mean, if there was a guarantee that it improved connection, for sure, yeah, I would. But I mean, imagine, imagine a world where that's something that is probably even realistic, honestly. Store packs look fun, I wish they were SBCs. Well, a couple of years ago, they were SBCs, my friend.
I've been saying that for years, Rhino. That's my biggest annoyance. They spend the whole year fixing this game's glitches, and then the new game comes out, and all the glitches that were that were removed in the previous year's game are back again. Because they're so lazy with the coding, they don't even patch the last version of FC24 into the new game's release and, and make the new game better. They patch the old version of FC24 into the new game, so then they spend the first six months of the game fixing every other broken glitch that they keep bringing back year in, year out. Why do you think the kickoff boost, the kickoff glitch, whatever you want to call it, basically where for the first five minutes from kickoff, your defensive team stands flat-footed. It's been a thing for the last nine years. Why is that? Because every year they just copy and paste the old code into the new game. It's a disgrace, man. It's a disgrace. All the Leverkusen fans are on the pitch? What? It's an 82nd minute, man. How could they possibly be on the pitch? Wait, has Florian Verts just scored again? All right, we'll put that into a PP. Why not? GG, man. Oh, Verts is just on a run. Yeah, that's sick, man. Congratulations, Bayer. Congratulate. Oh my God, all the fans are running onto the field. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You know what? They're being all right. The fans lost their mind and they're go they're going back off the field. Oh no, wait, all the fans are on the pitch. Oh my god, what a get off guys, what are you doing? This is stupid, dude. Guys, come on, man. Come on, man. Don't screw yourselves over, man. What are they doing? <gasps> Villa made it one nothing? What is football? Dude, the games today, the games this week have been insane in the championship. They've been insane in the Bundesliga. They've been insane in the Premier League. They've been insane in the Europa League. They've been insane in the Champions League. How can you not be a football fan, man? How can you not be a football fan with all the crazy stuff going on? How? Pep's absolutely fapping right now. <laughs> yeah, he is uh, He is pre epaculating for sure. It's only one nothing, Arsenal fans. Everything's fine, right, guys? It's only one nothing. Just relax. Oh, actually, I suppose I should do this if it's a dupe 83. Dude, Florian, it's crazy if he stays at Leverkusen. I got nothing but love for him if he stays at Leverkusen next year, man. And he will too, won't he? He will. He will. Never seen a bigger bottle club, to be honest. I mean, have you seen Spurs? Have you seen Leeds in the championship this year? Have you seen Leicester in the championship this season? Oh, there are lots of bottle clubs. I really hope Arsenal's not one of them. Wait, are they 2 nothing up? No way. No way. Are Aston Villa 2 nothing up right now? Guys. Come on, Leverkusen fans. Don't ruin this. Okay, it is 1 nothing. Come on. Don't ruin this for your team, man. Someone's got to go talk to these Leverkusen fans. Let the game finish. I mean, I don't know why they want to store... I mean, look, I get it. The emotions, man. What a, what a historical season for Leverkusen. I feel like maybe out of all the times where it's never good to storm a pitch, I feel like this is maybe the few times where you'd be like, okay, no way Villa are 2 nothing up, man. No way. No way Villa are 2 -0. Arsenal are actually bottling this? There's no way. How can you... What is going on here, man? Why is X so broken? How can you not love football? This... This past week has been mad in the...
Crazy, man. Crazy. What a day of football, bro. What a day of football, man. What a day of football. Arsenal's bottled it two years in a row. Come on, it's two nothing down. You don't you don't write off Arsenal at two nothing down, right, guys? Surely not. Uh, should I do another PP? I, f I feel like I have to do another PP, man. There's three minutes left. What? I thought the game just started. I'm watching Leverkusen. Oh, I didn't know that. It's the 88th minute. Oh my God, Arsenal actually have bottled the league. No way they've done it again. No way they've done it again, man. I'm bored, man. Arsenal, for God's sake, guys. We're gonna get to let City win this shit again? I'm bored, man. I, I, I mean, Arsenal fans, did I not say this a few times this year? I'm so sorry for saying I wanted you guys to win it above City or uh, even Liverpool because Liverpool have recently won it. I just want some change in the Premier League. I cursed you, Arsenal fans. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Old ass 28T has cooked Arsenal again. Dude, wow. And Villa have basically also put their foot in, one foot in the door for Champions League football with this result, right? Bro. What a day, man. What a freaking day, dude. What a freaking day. What a freaking day. What a freaking day. Oh, dude, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Have you watched any of the Pro Club stuff at all? No. Nope. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. What an atmosphere at the Leverkusen game, though, dude. No way, four inverts! No way, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo! This is absolutely insane. Fans, please get off the pitch, man. Please get off the pitch, guys. Let the game finish, for the love of god. Nah, bro. Nah. What are the fans doing, man? What are they doing? What are they fucking doing, bro? I almost, I almost want, I almost want Leverkusen to just pass around the back. Full time whistle had gone. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Wait, he scored. Oh, you know what? The ref's being smart. The ref just called it in the 90th minute. Yeah, no, fine, that's fair. That's fair. No, I thought the game still had to go on. All I'm saying is let the game finish. Dude, they, they fully deserve to be on the pitch. Very rarely do I think uh, storming the pitch is good, and I think it's awful 99% of the time. Uh, wow, Cold Palmer, 88 rated. Awesome. I think that's a current team of the week, isn't it? This is the Cold Palmer that got two goals and a clutch win, two penalty goals and a clutch win, and they gave him 66 penalties. EA Sports, the biggest shite bags on earth. Um, all right. Okay, so let's go over the wow, man. Incredible. Incredible scenes at the Leverkusen Stadium, man. Florian Verts is being absolutely pummeled right now by his own fans though. That's a bit wild. That's I, see, that's the problem with storming the pitch, man. The players just get absolutely rocked, dude. You understand how awkward that must be for them? Holy moly. Party in Leverkusen. Fair play, man. All right, look at that. I, I, I'm, I'm watching Arsenal Villa right now. Eight minutes of added time. Come on, maybe I could give Arsenal a little bit of luck here. 
Although I can't lie, I'm kind of happy for Villa to be pushing towards Champions League positions. I mean, Arsenal, you got to earn this, the league, man. If you're bottling this, it's, again, what can you do? Nah, watching Arsenal is like watching Leeds, bro. It's just devastating. Devastatingly brain-melting. Oh, I didn't catch ya. What was content today? Nothing. I'm not joking. There is not content is me doing project team of the season. Arsenal ruined my weekend again. At least you made it all the way till Sunday evening, brother. Leeds ruined me uh by 5 a.m. on Saturday, dude. Okay, Hubbly. Let's do another pee, pee here. It's funny, actually. I haven't really even packed any type of walkout or anything in all the packs. Usually when I do a project team of the season, when there's nothing available in packs, I tend to hit a lot of fodder. EA have nerfed the pack weight even during a dead week. UFC was crazy last night. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Absolutely nuts. How have Arsenal done this, man? Crazy. GG Villa, GG Mr. Good Evening. 2 nothing away to Arsenal is crazy. Max Holloway is a straight dog. That might be the craziest final 30 seconds of a fight I've ever seen. And it was uh, a Max Holloway that people are trying to say is washed up. Bro, are you insane? Yeah, that, dude, that, that, that UFC uh, event was cracked. I love, I love, I love MMA in general, man. But once again, I just have no time to keep up with that sport at all. Ooh, Ollie Watkins looks in pain. Hopefully he's all right. Let's go. There we go. I was complaining about not getting anything. That's exactly what I want. Exactly what I want. All right, let's go over to the uh, not 85. Let's go over to the uh, 88 exchange and just yeet him immediately. Get him gone. Okay, we'll get rid of Endler and Mead as well. Bro, that's wild, Arsenal. Absolutely wild. Dude, how do Arsenal keep doing this to their fans? H how, man? How do they keep doing this? It's absolutely crazy. It, it is absolutely insane. All right. And can you believe that Dortmund bottled the Bundesliga last year too? We could have had a really exciting set of... Um, set of uh, uh, Bundesliga champs back to back, right? Because uh, Dorman completely bottled it in the final like three games of the season, didn't they? to mention it was barely a couple of seasons ago Oh, there we go. We're back. You don't know ball? I guaranteed no more ball in my left ball sack than you have in your entire brain. I know that hurts you to hear and it hurts you 
to come to that realization, but you'll be laying in bed at night and you'll absolutely understand that. And that's okay. That's okay. That's all right, man. That's okay, brother. Life is full of pain, my man. It's okay. Your ball sack is bigger than his brain. That's not fair. No, no, no. It's my right ball sack that's massively swollen because of all the uh, internal bleeding and stuff from surgery a while ago. The left one is tiny, which is why I, I went with the left one because that one's so tiny. I personally don't like the pitch invasions. I'm not a fan either for 99% of the time that pitch invasions happen. I think with what's going on with Leverkusen, it's it's completely justified. Like I said, 99% of the time I, I'm against it. But this time, I don't know, bro. I think you got to make just a... Let's go play a game and lose. <laughs> let's go get cooked. Bro, first Bundesliga ever. About to be the Invincibles, hopefully. Um, on course for a treble. Come, the, playing the football they're playing? Come on. Come on. I think a pitch invasion is 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 more than fair. And their fans seem to be pretty chill too. They're not like destroying anything. Is that game? Damn, man. Wow. Wow. I cannot I cannot believe it, guys. Wow. GG. GG, man. GG. What a day of football. Do we have anything else uh, for footy today, boys? Do we have anything else at all? Mm, good evening. Do we have anything else at all, boys? Wow. Football is done for the day. Content never even was a never even began today, but nevertheless, content is done for the day. <clears throat> what a day. What a day. Oh, we do have coming up for you is our continuous no. coverage of the champions final. No. It's Crouch and Team of the Year Messi? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this is gonna be pain. Hey, be nice, dude. I got a gold Messi, bro. I've been using him for about four months. EA have not allowed me to uh to upgrade him at all. Be nice with this team of the year Leo. Oh god. He also has Bobby Charlton, which is kind of nice. Leo! Oh! Unlucky. I thought we had a uh, cheeky finesse there. Nah. Nice. Just kidding. I just get punished for making a beautiful tackle. And another beautiful tackle. Punished twice. And again, another beautiful tackle. What the hell was that pass by Cantona? That was actually pretty good football there for a second. Nice. Okay, Desai totally out of position, still made the tackle. GG. My bad. Now the old ball is looking dangerous here. 
What the fucking hell is defense. going on? Oh, man. Oh, God. I don't know what the hell is going on with this gameplay right now. I watched a bit of the Masters. Dude, Tiger, man. It's, Tiger is just... What he's able to achieve, man, with all his injuries and... Well, he set a record, right? For, uh, for qualifying, too? Or I guess making the cut, whatever you call it. I'm not too much of a golf guy, so I don't know the details. Was difficult to predict in advance who might love that again but you could make a strong case for this man i think stuart what are you expecting to see from him oh my god <laughs> yo sam byram what a ball dude the whipped pass boost is op nice byram now with messi Gotta be a foul, man. You can't just step through my legs to win the ball, dude. So stupid. Peter Crouch. Nice. Throw it. And it's Sam Byram. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Messi. And here's Snyder. Well, he hits it with authority. Close. What the f? The worst shot ever. It's like he mishit it. I feel like I should take Grev off, guys. I'm just gonna. Wow, Sam Byram. Force the ball to Messi here. Yep. Awesome. Great gameplay. That's onside somehow. I don't know what just happened there. Wesley Snyder. What? I got just green time a first time shot. I don't know if I've, I've, I've ever seen anyone do that. The ball with Alfonso Davies. Spraying passes around almost waiting Are you for the joking me, man. Charlton. Nicely blocked. Byron. And the old boy struggling. I don't know. I don't know what the point is of beating two of his players and he pulls them both out of position and I play a through ball and they somehow teleport back into the way. Big save, Edwin van der Sar. Big save. Big save. All right, we got to get Grev out of the team. He's just terrible, obviously. He's not going to do enough. And not that Byram is doing bad, but Zambrot does better. Two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Who can they pick out? I mean, if you're going to mark Cordoba with Charlton on purpose, that's on you, brother. That defending failure is on you. I do love that he's using Crouch, though. That's awesome. I just don't understand, man, how you overcommit to a certain position. So I play the other pass, and his fucking defender still reads it perfectly. That's a mistake on my part. Why am I fake shotting there? Well, on the cusp of the halftime interval, and I think it's fair to say they're enjoying this away day. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen? Well, they've got
dominated this first half. Their approach play, their cleverness around the box, and their finishing have been excellent. They just need to continue this going into the second. What half. is happening? Awesome. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Kaká. He's going forward well here. Keep getting the touch. Corner given. Who's going to get on the end of it? Ooh. And so it is. The first half story has been written. Thanks for the follow again, Finn. I appreciate it, man. Ace, thank you for the uh, 57. Techno, thank you for the 83. Buster, thank you for the 49. Tad, thank you for the gifted sub. Rich, Brunner, Booze, True, Blue, Laz, Biffy. Thank you guys all so much for the resubs, man. Longfell, Dom, thank hey, you. Man. They should be coming through now. Thanks, guys. Sorry about that. Biffy with the 91 months, too, is crazy. Hey, man. Hey man. Let's go. Well, the Nutters didn't really distinguish themselves in the first half. Will it be a better story for them in the second now? Hey man. What a day of sports between football well, and the Masters later. Hey man. Hello, baby girl and 28 love and 28 love. What the hell? What is going on? Dude, why? It's such a bad pass. I'm going to concede because of it, man. What is happening here? I hate the high press, dude. It just it turns your player's passing stats down by at least 50%. I got lucky there. Hey, man. Oh, Lionel. That's a gold Lionel Messi, by the way, brother. Beating a team of the year Messi. Let's go. Hey man. Snyder. On to Cantona. Oh, big chance. Oh my! Let's go! Sick football today, boys. Good job, Archie. Of course, the high press. Somehow he wins the ball back with a tackle through my back. Of course. Of course. He just red time a shot. Bro, why is press so cracked? It's idiotic, man. With how delayed the game can be, the press should not be this effective, man. Until they can fix the delay in gameplay, the high press should not be this effective. That's beautiful football. Oh my god. Honestly, man, that looked like it was onside, honestly. I just said honestly twice in one sentence. I had to cut myself off there. Again. Players with 99 passing can't make first-time passes in situations like that because they're un under pressure from a press. So stupid. Yeah, okay. I knew it. I remember Nep was doing that last year. Dude, can we give this guy more chances, man? What is happening? Yeah, I mean, bro. Anyone can just do power shots from everywhere. I, I I don't know, because you had 15 shots from downtown, like you think you deserved anything from that game. No disrespect, but... My dude's taking shots all outside the 18. Like, well, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anyways, GG's. GG's, GG's.
Nick, sick football today, guys. Ten minutes later, this is the worst game ever. Yeah, two things can live in the same universe, my man. I have been playing sick football today, and this game is also the worst game ever. Uh, yeah. Those two things can be in the same world, my friend. They 100% can be. It's unfortunate, but... Is what it is. Okay, are we all... Yeah. So tomorrow... Um, tomorrow we'll do some web app pack grinding as well. I kind of want to show you guys the, the grind I do <clears throat> uh, via the web app. Oh, why am I claiming this right now? I press i don't know how they do it i can't move my players uh guys like that still run a uh a press after possession loss or press after heavy touch uh so that mixed with their glitched tactics and their four three two one and their direct passing when they lose possession in the final third the game presses you with about six players for about 10 seconds to 20 seconds and because it's so delayed, it's really hard to tiki-taka out of the press. And then when you do tiki-taka out of the press and play the ball out of the press, your opponent's AI recovers so fast that it basically means nothing. There's zero punishment to playing like that. Um, the game's back to being completely broken. EA did a few patches through the season, through this year, where they've tried to nerf wingbacks getting back too quickly after high pressing up the pitch. But have you noticed since the latest patches, they deleted those old patches. Wingbacks now teleport back perfectly within seconds milliseconds even that's something that they fixed and then the issue has just been brought back again um so yeah it's uh it's it's a little bit unfortunate but it's okay i can still have fun with this game thankfully and uh, i'm grateful for that I copied the Liverpool tactics, and it's honestly they're the best I've used all year. Yeah? I mean, for the game's meta, it makes total sense. Oh, we are running out of players, man. I think we gotta do a couple of, uh... A couple of... Inform peepees, boys. Maybe we'll get lucky and pack a Virgil van Dijk. Or a Rafinha. That'd be awesome. Do, do, do. I absolutely love this playlist now, man. The hell is wrong with me? <laughs> Icon PP's team of the year check, Thunder Mule. Yeah, W. Oh, yeah, didn't I say I wanted to put check back in the team? Vandersar has been so bad for so long. I think I should be putting check back in the team. Would I rather have Team of the Year Messi or Fup Birthday Messi? Honestly, I think I'd rather have Fup Birthday Messi. The five star, five star, high, low work rates. I think I would rather have the Fup Birthday one. And I think he's way more rare. I've only played the Fup Birthday one once. The Team of the Year Messi, I've played maybe 50 times. I think I've only ever played the Fup Birthday Messi once, and that guy made me want to delete the game. We haven't had good goalkeepers all year, I feel like. That's another, yeah, issue for sure. I don't feel like they've given us go good goalkeepers all year. What what was the, the last good non-icon or non-hero goalkeeper that we got was Team of the Year Alon uh, Alonzo. Well, he deserves a Team of the Year too, but uh, Team of the Year Allison, right? Who else? Yeah, maybe, maybe Loris, but that Loris card was bad for a while. That uh, SBC Loris, they buffed him and made him good a, uh, a month ago or so. But on release, he was pretty poor. Did 
What packs am I saving for team of the year? Uh, so I'm uh, I'm actually saving for team of the season. I'm doing a project team of the season. I won't be doing project team of the year until December of FC 25. Uh, but I, I'm saving basically everything that isn't bad packs. So the, these Electrum packs I tend to open. Uh, the one rare gold packs I open. Jumbo packs I open. <clears throat> All the Electrum Packs, yeah. Anything that has Silvers and Bronzes, I open. I am tempted to maybe even open the... No, not Jumbo Premium Gold Players, sorry. The, the Jumbo Gold Packs themselves, I think I want to open. Two. And we already have so many packs, dude. And we've barely been doing this grind. Nuts. Doing both icon picks, emptying my club till, club till Friday. I mean, should we do one icon pick for the Epi boys to end the Epi maybe? I think I'll be able to craft one, but that's probably going to be it. I think I'll be able to do one. No joke. I genuinely think I'll be able to do one. We're gonna have to be pretty savage on the players that we eat, but who cares? Doesn't really matter, does it? Damn, we're almost through our 84s too. Hell yeah. Been a good grind. All right, let's open the inform. Let's get an inform Virgil. Cold Palmer again? Hell am I gonna do with another Cold Palmer? Oh, I know. Put him into the final 83 by 10. Actually, hilariously, we got rid of the 83 by 10, so this is perfect. We'll put him into the Ankur Icon. There you go. Am I doing any of the showdowns? I have no interest in any of them. Stanway's gone, right? Stanway's gone. Um, Diaz absolutely sucks. So he can go too. Alright, he has got yeah, he's gotta go. Sorry, Liverpool fans, his Diaz card sucks. I have no interest in keeping him. I'm going to yeet so many emotional players here, and guaranteed my picks are going to be awful. <laughs> so, so awful. I don't really know. I mean, I guess I just fill it with these, right? Wait, I got a bunch of 84s on the transfer market. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Damn. Yeah, I think 400 is too much. I think 400 is too much. Is this guy actually not going to sell? Even though he's fresh? First owner? Why the hell did I s wait? Uh, w sit on him for so long? 
Should just use him in an upgrade, man. I feel like he'll probably still sell, but. Is it time we get rid of Cordoba, guys? That's going to be emotional because he's been really good for us. I kind of miss using Rio. Yeah, let's go. Let's have a look at some of the 90s. I got a lot of 90s that I got to get rid of first. I don't have to make these tough decisions just yet. So. Uh, Butra can get wrecked. Never going to use this card. Alright, that takes us to an 84. Uh, Abadi Pele can get wrecked. I'm never going to use him. I do like this Fetty card a lot, but again, I don't think I'm ever going to use him, really. So, 90 Marmouche works. 89... Seven, eighty-six, I wonder if two eighty-fives would work. I don't know, keeping a ninety feels like a decent idea. Well, there's no 85s I'm willing to get rid of from the club. Uh, give me an 85 to buy. Uh, what would be an 85 to buy? Bastoni probably isn't much, right? Wait, 85s are up in pro. What the f 85s are. I must have... He must be an inform or something right now. I just paid 7k for an 85. Aren't 85s meant to be about 3,000 coins? Oh, well. Whatever. He's got to be in, in demand for something. Okay. We'll do the mixed player pack. Restock a bit. He is team of the week right now. Damn it! I just overpaid by at least 3,000 coins for him. I got Thunderstruck Dino out of the PP and I have three squads left to finish his SBC. That's insane. Feels like that's how the game's coded. I know it's just luck, but that's crazy. I just packed his inform? Man. How have I how have I managed that, dude? Good news is though, we've completely cleared the club. So that's nice. Oh, look at that. We get one PP, boys. One PP here. One PP. So it's Fulgini and Rygard. Fulgini and Rygard. Come on. Give me something nice and high rated for the Encore. I don't think I'd be upset about something like that, though. Wait, what? Did it re-swap them out of the team? What? Olgini. And Rykard's Danish, right? Rygard, sorry. All right.
Okay, well that was worthless. Nah, Ferdy, our content today was nothing, man. Flashback, Florenzi, a refresh on the Encore pick. Let's see. I mean, we're about to find out right now whether or not there's content today. We're, we're going to find 57 minutes uh, past content. Whether or not the Icon PP is even worth my time. Uh, and unfortunately, I do think this is probably be the only one I'll do. We'll see tomorrow how the pack luck is. We could always, instead of putting uh, high rateds into the exchange, we could just craft the other icon PP. It's possible. Okay. Hey, man. So Fetty goes. Mamouche goes. Really? Alright. Oh, so it's gotta be an 89. Damn. I don't think I have any 89s I'm willing to get rid of. Because Nerez is still upgradable, right? Uh-oh, this is a problem. Or do we just yeet a 90 in? Another 90? Ah, whatever. We get rid of Kandreva? Kandreva's a sick card. But, uh... I don't really see myself using him too much anymore. I mean, I've only used him for 11 games. I'm just gonna get rid of Kandreva, Kandreva man. Okay. Here we go, boys. To end off the episode today, we are doing... Uh, the 88 plus, I believe, icon PP. Encore player pick pack. So I'm hoping we can get a Thunderstruck Cruyff in here, right, guys? Honestly, that's probably the only thing I'd be super hyped about. What else would be I? I'd be a Team of the Year Ribbery would be nuts. Team of the Year Rio would be nuts. Fut. Oh, there's a couple of beastly fut birthdays too. That would be nice. I don't know. There's a good amount. There's a good amount of good cards here. There's definitely a good amount of good cards here. <clears throat> gonna um gonna depend on the pack gods of course oh it's one of four Ooh, that's interesting i did not realize that okay let's get it boys so i'm gonna have to uh probably start from right to left this time usually we do central and then go from there come on oh i gotta that. that doesn't look like Thunderstruck, because Thunderstruck would have the smoke up top. It's going to be just a Winter Wild card, man. I hate this game. No, you know who that is? I already know that stupid hairline. I already know that stupid hairline, man. I already know who this is. French, right? Oh, come on, dude. I always pack the same freaking players. <sighs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. I kind of spoiled it for myself there. Did you guys see that? Sneak peek. That looked like Fut Birthday, guys. Looked like back-to-back -back Fut Birthdays, though. Come on. I think, okay, I think that's Fut Birthday. Oh, my God. 
I have no... No, it's again the same player. It's that chick, right? The striker? <gasps> oh my! Never mind! A freaking David Beckham! Oh wow! Okay then. That's huge! Wait, that's huge for me. I I'm sure he's not much on the market, but dude, we used David Beckham for 10 games. He was so good. No, 5 games. He was so good. That's a W. I'm taking that as a W, man. I'm not... <gasps> oh, Thunderstruck! Okay, guys, it's April. It's mid-April. I'm 38 years old. Let's all just rein it in a little bit here. Please, God, for the first time ever in my career, can I pack a Cruyff? Let this be it. No, nope, that looks like a Campbell again. That's my 900th Soul Campbell packed. I hate this game. Come on, man. It's never Cruyff, guys. Final one. Here we go. Can it be something erupting? Give me just false hope of it being Thunderstruck, please. Nope. No, it's winter fucking wild card. Again? Oh my god, Loudrup, dude. That's awful. Well, boys, I mean, I'll take it, David Beckham. He's absolutely cracked. 100%. Maybe we even run a 4 4 2 uh, for tomorrow's Champs games. Maybe we run a 4 4 2 for tomorrow's Champs games, man. I mean, I, oh no, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely taking David Beckham. There's no way I'm not taking David Beckham. In fact, actually, what I think I might do is I might use him as a box-to-box -box mid. We used him as a central cam, a creative cam, and we used him as a right mid. He was good in both positions, but I seriously feel like this guy is top, would be, sorry, not is, but would be top tier as a box-to-box -box mid. An attacking-minded box-to-box -box mid. So whether I give him a maestro, or I give him a, fi honestly, man, you know what I should give him is a finisher. A finisher as a box to box mid is going to be crazy. Heck yeah. So we'll use him in champs tomorrow. We'll catch you beaters on the flip side. Peace.